Hello, uh, my name is Katherine Haggerty and I'm an artist based in Brooklyn, New York. I am in my studio right now and I wanted to give you a little sneak peek into the work that I am uh, working on and have recently finished. Um, first and foremost, I'm an artist. Um, I went to graduate school at Rutgers University, Mason Gross, and I graduated in 2011. Um, I also major, majored in psychology in college and was a former college athlete. So I have um, an interesting uh, background in art and other things that I think have really uh, come to be uh, part of my very specific voice. Um, I also am a curator and part-time professor at the School of Visual Arts um, in Manhattan. I have been a part of nonprofit artist friend galleries for three to four years, specifically Ortegi Gasset Projects in Gowanus, Brooklyn. I was a co-director from 2016 to 19. And um, over the course of 10 years, I've curated over 12 exhibitions, uh, juried dozens of open calls and residencies and shows, and consider my voice in curating and writing as important as my voice in the studio. Uh, that experience, along with my interests in critique and dialogue, seminars, and artists run art schools, um, sort of rounds out my full perspective as an artist and also as um, someone that's interested in the larger conversation of art and how art can play a role in individuals' lives and in communities' lives. So I see it all as really connected, um, and I see my work as uh, work to make in solitude, but work to also dive in with the larger whole. So with that, I'm going to share a screen and just show a little bit about my work and some recent uh, things I have been doing in the studio. Um, in this year upcoming, I will be leading one section of um, the Canopy Programs cohort of 10 artists. Um, I personally will be during um, all the cohorts with the faculty and, of course, specifically have eyes on my own. Um, artists of 10. And so I'm really excited to talk to you about um, my work for this project. Um, and if you'd like to hear more about the Canopy program in general, please just see the About uh, Canopy page and there'll be a longer video by me there explaining the nuances of the cohort. Um, I'm really proud and excited to launch this for a few reasons. Um, I think that the mentorship and dialogue over the course of a year will be very specific and different than what we have previously had. And I'm really excited to dive in with this group of amazing guest speakers and visiting critics. Um, we have um, really an amazing lineup of people that will come in, talk about um, issues in the gallery world, higher education world, um, nonprofit world, but also um, have the opportunity in my cohort to um, have art history lessons, um, demonstrations and material and techniques, professional practices, and much more. So these are just a few of my visiting speakers and critics. There probably will be more added to my lineup. Um, I mentioned in my introduction that I'm also a curator, and so I just thought I'd show you a few exhibitions I have curated. This was 2021 with artists Josephine Halverson and Hanalina Rogberg at the School of Visual Arts in Lower Manhattan. This was a two-person show titled A Quiet Scale that I curated for them and the school. Uh, from 2016 to 2019, roughly, I was a co-director of Ortega E. Gasset Projects in Gowanus, Brooklyn, with a group of amazing artists who are my lifelong friends and uh, people I really look up to, uh, both in their studios, but also their uh, role as um, artists and um, leaders in the community. So this is an exhibition photo from when Padma Rajendran, another amazing artist, um, received a solo show that we all helped put together for her and her work in 2017. So a little bit about me, I am a drawer and a painter. I consider myself a little bit more of a drawer in a lot of ways. I make that distinction because I think that there's something about drawing that is, um, you know, of course, manual thinking, a reference to the hand, to ideas, to sort of infallible and idiosyncratic ways that um, drawing, writing, and our hand can uh, ever so specifically point to the way that we operate. Um, I see drawing as preparatory. I see drawing as final. I see drawing as a position to take um, in one's studio and one's practice. So this is a drawing from 2022, and it's... Um, 
wax crayon on toned paper. And this was from a series of interior uh, drawings and paintings I made uh, investigating the quietude and the solitude of sleep, uh, the intimacy of the, the, the bedroom space and who we share it with both physically and mentally. So here is a small drawing where I am considering the things that I worry about at night, whether or not it's feral cats or art history or uh, my paintings and you know, thinking about multiple perspectives colliding at once. This of course um, is one of many, many drawings that I make. I would say in a course of a year, I make close to 100 to 200 drawings. Um, some more finished than others, but all as important as the next. Uh, this is another recent drawing I finished late in 2022 um, from both a photo and observation and a little bit of conjuring as well. And this is wax crayon on toned paper about 11 by 14 inches and something like this would maybe take me about two days of hard drawing um and uh yeah uh as i said before sometimes the drawings do play a role in planning larger works this is a larger painting that i showed in miami at untitled art fair this past year and um, can give you a little bit of an idea of scale it actually is a larger painting but here in the scope of this grand place seems small um, and this painting has sort of a mythical and mystical scale um, of objects and shadows uh, that make sense and don't all at once. Um, I have been referencing using the hard grain, uh, wood grain floors as both a location and a way to frame uh, the things I think about, uh, the spaces I inhabit, and my concerns. Uh, this is another recent painting from 2022 a recent drawing from 2022 that helped me formulate a desire and an interest in rekindling my sort of love affair with uh, a little bit more technical drawing, observed drawing, and um, kind of going back to using more source material um, that I can find in my work as opposed to source material perhaps that I am studying or referencing um, in my classroom experience and using the place that I inhabit my home as a location just as important as the textbooks and um, essays that I might share with artists and students alike. In my paintings, I use airbrush, I use wax crayon, I use acrylic paint, um, oil paints, I use stencils, I use anything I need to make my paintings and I have no hierarchy. Uh, within my practice of thinking about what to use. Um, it is more of a gut feeling about what I'm craving and then what the picture and the painting or the drawing might need. Um, this is a drawing, a uh, wax crayon on black toned paper. Um, being a former college athlete and kind of an overall uh, jock, if you will, for most of my life, there is a deeply ingrained love for sneakers and fashion um, and that sort of culture in my life. And I actually, you know, deeply investigated this in my studio when I was in my 20s, but I feel like I'm recently jumping back into this love affair and this subjecthood of uh, the autobiographical, the athletic, and um, and in doing so, the deeply personal. This is a large painting from this past year, which was exhibited in LA at Lauren Gallery. Um, this painting holds, um, of course, a very specific part um, of my memory and my observations in the last year. Um, it comes from a place of conjuring source material and observing um, an experience in my life. Uh, I've done many preparatory drawings uh, for it and then after it in honor of the work. I often do drawings about paintings after they're done to think about different ways that they could continue to live on. Um, on the left, you see a painting that is used with um, acrylic paint, um, airbrush as a tool, and paint brushes also as a tool. On the right, you'll just see a small drawing that is just wax crayon on black toned paper. Um, a lot of my work also is sort of about the insecurity or the multiplicity of ideas that I inhabit, that I have in my head, that I don't frankly have enough time to execute. And so a lot of times in the studio lately, I've been drawing and painting about the amount of ideas I have and the stencils and the tools. The thinking is the making and the making is the thinking is something I've been thinking about over and over. And so a lot of my recent work is sort of a monument to work or a monument to the still life or the studio floor or the way that I, you know, sort of 
figure out what to care about, uh, what to spend more time with. And sometimes I can't decide, so I put them all together. This is a recent painting. It's all acrylic paint, airbrush, and uh, wax crayon on canvas, and it's 48 by 36 inches. All right, so that is me, and that is my work, and some of the things I think about, although of course not all of the things. I hope to work with you this year in my uh, canopy cohort and that you'll apply to work with me um, or any of the other amazing faculty members that we have um, on deck for this year 2023 and um, I'm hoping to work with you and any questions you might have be happy to answer um, in an email or an, an upcoming information session so yeah thank you for listening and um, get to work